All right, so I thought I'd record a quick video here to talk through the process uh, of building the AI Whale Wallet Tracker uh, using Eliza OS. So I'm just going to kind of build and record as I go. So hopefully people can see the progress and, and maybe learn um, some tips or tricks on how to use AI to build their own projects. Uh, to preface it, I'm not a developer. I've got no dev background. My background's marketing, so my... my uh, Build process may not be perfect from a developer perspective, but hopefully what I can show is that the AI tools that we have access to now can help anyone really build their own AI agents using tools like ChatGPT and Claude and in particular Eliza. Yeah, I'm going to use this video to sort of show you part one, which is just firstly creating a, a PRD, so a product requirement document, um, to outline exactly what needs to be built um, to deploy the AI wire wallet tracker and I'll use that as a starting point to then progress towards the building stage. So firstly what I did is actually had a little conversation with ChatGPT and just asked it which LLM would be best for creating PRDs and the recommendation here was actually a combination approach. So ChatGPT recommended using both. Firstly GPT 4.0 uh, for scaffolding, so a really basic outline of um, what's required um, for the project and to then plug that into um, Sonnet 3.7 to then create a full PRD um, and then I can go back to GPT 4.0 um, with a custom GPT I've built to then upload the PRD and get a final review uh, before I then commence the next step. So as we can see here it's compared the two um, and then recommended uh, to use both. So as you can see here, ProTip, many teams actually use both. Claude for the initial brainstorm, vision and narrative framing. GPT-4 Turbo for refining, structuring and laying in technical details and examples. So um, I've then prompted it to um, come up with that scaffold. So the starting point for what I want to build. Um, and then the next step was then to jump over to Claude um, where I can upload that and get a full PRD um, back. So what I've done here in Claude um, is I've created a new project. So in Claude you can have chats or you can have projects. The benefit with projects is you can upload project knowledge and you can also assign instru instructions to Claude how to act. So one issue I did run into here was I couldn't upload all of the docs files from the ELISA directory. It was The files were too big. Um, as you can see here, it's currently at 34% of product knowledge size use. What I did was I went back to chat GPT and I asked it to just identify the, the key docs files that I should upload as project knowledge. So as you can see, that's what's happened here. Um, I've uploaded the files that chat GPT identified as the key, key ones that I should upload. I also then got chat GPT to help me write some project instructions uh, for this Claude project. Um, Eliza OS Hub. So as you can see, you are a technical assistant for building and maintaining agents on the Eliza OS framework. You have access to core Eliza OS documentation, including quick, quick start guides, config structure, memory models, and plugin integrations. Um, some responsibilities here, in particular support writing technical PRDs for Eliza OS builds, um, a communication style, and some other specialized tasks. And the purpose of this is as a process for whenever I want to build an AI agent on Eliza, this is the starting point. So I can come here, I can upload whatever scaffold I've, I've got from ChatGPT and get a full PRD back using this project uh, as a base. Okay, so I'll just show you how it works here in real time. So firstly, I'm just going to ask, can you confirm that you can view and read the attached docs? Um, so obviously I want to make sure that it can access those docs so it has that context of how Eliza works. Uh, as we can see, it can access the docs. It's given me a quick overview of what docs it has access to, so I can see that um, it will indeed be referencing those docs when I now prompt it next. I'm now going to copy and paste the scaffold that was provided by ChatGPT. So I'll just move that down a bit and show you that this is how ChatGPT recommended starting every prompt. So this would be a prompt 
that, that I would include at the beginning of every uh, PRD prompt for a AI agent build here. That's going to just set up the context initially before I then get into the specific details about the project, which in this case is the whale wallet tracker. So we'll then hit enter. Again, ChatGPT has written all of this for me uh, from the information I've given it. And as you can see, Claude is now taking that prompt and turning it into a full PRD. Success metrics, key features, architecture. Tweet format examples so we can see uh, examples of how the build will work. We can change some of these details as we build, but this is just a good starting point. Uh, MVP one to two weeks, which sounds about right. Um, so that's looking good. So now what we can do is follow up by saying, please provide the PRD in a downloadable document format. So we want to be able to download this so we can use it with ChatGPT, which we'll do shortly. So as you can see, it's now turning that into a document that I can download. It's now creating a checklist as well, which we can use as a guide for the build. And there we go. So the comprehensive PRD document has been created in a markdown file. I can download that as a markdown file. I can also save it as a PDF. Um, so now what I can do is I can go back to the custom GPT that I built earlier. As we can see here, I've built a custom GPT. I might just quickly show how you can build the GPT. So if we go to chat GPT and go to uh, GPTs on the top left, we get to this page and you can see top right there's a button create. So we can click on create and go over to configure here. We can name the, the GPT, so we'll call it Eliza OS Agent Architect. Uh, we can give it instructions, which um, I have already done and this is already built. I'm just doing a walkthrough here on how you would build a custom GPT. ChatGPT gave me the text to users instructions. I just prompted it that I want to build a custom GPT and it provides all the information that I need. The key thing here is upload files. So if we go into uh, our repo that we've cloned, for Eliza Docs, so I've cloned a repo specifically for um, using Eliza Docs uh, for this purpose and you can see here I've just created a zipped folder of, of all of the docs files so we can upload that as project knowledge um, and then hit create so that's what I've done here now the next step would be to upload the PRD that Claude created and if we go back to GPT, we can see uh, its recommendation for coffee to include here. So this is the workflow that, as I've said, GPT has recommended. So it's now told me to upload the PRD that Claude created along with this prompt. Please review the PRD for technical accuracy and completeness. Suggest improvements to the agent design, memory handling tools or configuration if needed. You have access the Eliza OS docs. So the purpose of this is just another layer um, of review. So um, we have Claude which had the project knowledge and was able to take that scaffold and turn that into a PRD. We've now got another check in place here where we can ask this custom GPT to which has access to the full Eliza docs to now just double check, make sure everything looks good, see if there's any improvements um, that can be made to the PRD so we uh, upload and wait for the custom GPT to do its thing we can see it's listed the strengths some recommendations for improvement so it's recommended splitting analyze transaction into filter by threshold and classify transactions that's probably a good idea to have to, to break down those two actions into separate actions fine grain scheduling. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, also suggested some improvements to memory handling tools and configurations. Future proofing, which probably isn't a, it's, isn't a big
concern at the moment. I'm just happy to focus on uh, Solana uh, whale wallets at the moment. Uh, plug in a classifier model later to distinguish between whale rebalancing versus signaling trades. Configuration that includes some of these suggestions. Um, so what I'm going to do is ignore the future proofing for the moment. So what I'll say is um, provide an updated PID with these improvements. Don't include the cross chain. Readiness as I'll be focusing on Solana. And then what it's going to do is now obviously make those updates to the PRD. So again, using these um, different LLMs and, and this workflow to get to this point, um, it's just a good idea to be able to get a better output. So um, yeah, it's just, it's just another check, as I said, in the process so that we can um, come up with a really solid... Uh, PRD that's, that's going to help us deliver this project so uh, looks like that's been updated I uh, don't know if it's included in everything though so let's go to YAML Well, I'm not sure if it did update the entire thing. It definitely hasn't. But um, provide your feedback as a prompt that I can give to Claude to update the PRD. So it doesn't look like it's going to give me a proper. PRD file here as robust as what Claude provided so the next best approach I guess is to now ask it um, to give that feedback as a prompt so I can just copy paste this into Claude and that should Claude should now update the full PRD in this format okay so Claude has now uh, taken that information on board um, and it's updated the PRD as we can see here on the right hand side there's version 2 of the PRD we go back to version 1 um, see what we originally had um, version 2 now has those updates all applied so um, what I'll now do is go back to uh, the custom GPT we've built uh, I'm going to upload version 2 I'm going to say uh, of I'll just say I've attached the updated PRD that includes your um, recommendations. Here's review now. Uh, let me know if you would suggest any other changes. So we'll see now what. The custom GPT says here. Looks like we're off to a good start. Uh, so that's not a bad suggestion there. Tweet preview sandbox. That sounds like uh, might be a bit complex for what we want to build for an MVP. PRD is production grade. These additions would provide more analytics and flexibility, but the core system is well architected. Let me know if you'd like help implementing any of the above features in your Eliza OS agent. So I might just say, uh, I might just follow up here and say, um, my priority for now is launching an MVP. Do any of these? Additional suggestions support that priority, or can we consider them later? I 
Um, so obviously I don't want to get I don't want it to get too complex initially. Obviously the aim is we want to launch an MVP. We want to show how we can use Eliza um, for this use case of of Whale Wallet Tracker. We can obviously add a lot more features later down the track um, once we've got the MVP up and running. So. Um, as you can see here, it's now come back and said worth including an MVP evaluation logging for rejected transactions, telemetry tagging for alert types. Um, so I'll just do one more provide provide a prompt that I can give to Claude uh, to update the PRD. To include the MVP uh, levels additions above. So this is kind of common with with um, ChatGPT and Claude. Really, that um, there's a lot of back and forth required with prompting. So uh, it's very rare that you'll just prompt it for a PID and you'll get back something that's um, you know, complete and usable. You've got to go through this process of a bit of back and forth um, to just do some updates to get to a point where um, it's complete and, and ready and as ChatGPT mentioned, production grade. So if we'll go back to Claude, we'll give this final uh, prompt to Claude and it will now update uh, the PRD again. So we'll get back version 3 shortly um, and then we'll go back to ChatGPT and just do a final check and then hopefully from there we'll be ready to progress to um, the actual build. So um, again we'll use ChatGPT for all that process so um, once Claude does its thing here and updates the PRD one final time uh, we'll go back and get GPT to give us a rundown. So as we can see, uh, Claude has now applied those updates to the PRD. Um, we've now got an updated version 1.1 based off the MVP level suggestions that, that ChatGPT provided. Um, so now we can go back to our custom GPT here. Uh, I've uploaded that, the final version of the PRD. And as you can see, uh, ChatGPT is now happy um, with the PRD so we can progress to the next stage. Uh, as you can see it's kind of leading me into what the next steps are. Um, I'll probably end this video here um, as sort of part one of, of getting to this point of having a PRD and being ready to progress to development. Um, in the next video I'll show you the breakdown of you know, setting up that environment in Cursor, um, creating the directory and starting the build process. Uh, but as you can see, we can use both GPT or Claude, or both, to um, to actually build the project. So, um, yeah, I hope you found that useful um, just as a way to sort of start, a real good starting point for a project just to sort of get your ideas down um, and then let Claude and ChatGPT turn that idea into a full... Um, complete robust PRD that has all the details um, required and the full process that you need to go through to build your AI agent. So um, as a starting point, um, a great place to start to be able to be in a position to um, launch an AI agent. So yeah, that's part one. Um, I'll be back hopefully in a few days with an update with uh, part two. Thanks.